today I'm reviewing one of the bikes. It's called a uh, Rice bike. Rice, uh, they have different models. Um, this model is called Leisure. Um, E-bike basically is just a regular bike with a battery and motor. This is what e-bike all about. Um, Rise bike basically um, they used to be a different company, but they uh, I think they rebrand the name and they make it um, Rise bike. Uh, the good thing about those bikes they come standard with some stuff. Uh, probably other uh, e-bike manufacturer don't put it. For example, like you know the rear, you know. Uh, rack it many um, uh, e-bike um, manufacturer they don't provide the the, the, the rear uh, rear rack. Uh, another thing is you know the the, vent, the uh, fenders fenders also they don't really uh, mini bike they don't have it, but in this one it's standard it comes with the bike. As I mentioned, you can use the throttle only to, you know, to ride the, the bike. But also, you can use the uh, uh, pedal assistant. Means that when you are pedaling, it's like somebody pushing you. So, the motor here, basically, in in this um, uh, rear uh, wheel, and it will. The idea is there is a sensor here. The sensor, basically, what it does when you pedal the sensor will tell the motor okay the rider is pedaling so give him or give her assistant and give her some power so you will find the pedal especially if you are going uphill or something it will be easy to go uphill or if you are tired and you are riding for a long time the assistant will will work like a magic with you so when I talk about uh, the pedal assist from 1 to 9, so if we go here, for example, you will see um, here is the, the pedal assistant level 1, and this is the speed. And you can, you can of course, you can customize the, uh, the panel uh, as you like. Uh, for example, this is the buttons here. You can just see what you can want to see here. You can see the speed, you can see the average. Um, but what this is what I what I want to tell you about the levels because you can see like one two three four five six and I I set up this one to only five so it's it's usually from one to nine but I make it uh, to one to five to one to five so basically this is well make the power like make level one it's like one and two together so it, it makes the, 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 the levels more powerful. So one, it would be more the usual one from one to nine. So one, it would be like one and two, stuff like that. So, so for, for example, if you are, if you are like uh, riding the bike uh, without uh, like, um, the road is, 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 is good road. There is no uphill or something. You can just make it in one. It will give you a little bit of assistance. Can I use it for exercise? Yes, of course. You can you can uh, shut down the assistant and you can use it as a regular bike and you can also use it with a gear if you if you want to use the gear uh, it has one to, to nine um, you can use the gear and exercise if you want but this one uh, with the battery and with the pedal assistant it will give you more you know um, time to ride if you if usually you ride for one hour this bike can take you for three four hours no problem the the battery the good thing about the battery also you can check the power here so this is the power it tells you here as well here the battery tells you this is 100 percent charged and also there is um, i don't know if you can see it in the light but there is four green led light here you can tell you uh, that that is full, uh, full charge as well this bike also comes with hydraulic, uh, hydraulic uh, brakes. So the hydraulic brakes basically is a nice feature to have. Basically, most of the cheap um, or other manufacturer uh, they charge a lot of money to have like uh, the um, hydraulic brake. But this one comes standard with the uh, with the bike. So as you, as we know that um, hydraulic brake is easier and also easy to maintain and easy to adjust for yourself here this is tail light uh, integrated tail light means it works with the battery so if you want to uh, have a kind of um, 
different variation of light you can have uh, the light to be steady or you can blink it or whatever it's all controlled by uh, the buttons here um, I bought also this uh, lock this is one of the main issue with those bikes because those bikes are expensive so and they are very um, attractive as well so people look to the fat tires and battery and okay and basically they will you know some people they want to steal it if <laughs> they cannot buy it so you have to buy something to secure as much as you can so I, I bought this lock so this lock is a really good quality lock so you can you know lock it with anything if you, if you want to go somewhere like some buy some grocery or something like like grocery but of course it, it's it's advisable to keep your bike especially in this type of bike in front of you all the time um, there's a nice thing also I, I put it for its security uh, uh, see like this so basically uh, I can now lock the the bike so if somebody come and just try to touch the bike like this now it's giving me confirmation it's locked so if it will warn them okay don't touch it okay and if they insist to take it it will make sound it will make sound so it will warn you if something happened this is also a good feature to have it so I will I will have another review I have this bike almost for one week now so I will have another review probably in in, in, in a month or, or two months or something until I, I, I test the bike and I, I, I feel like it's really very good value for the money but I think uh, from the feedback from other uh, customers and in Facebook and uh, reviews I, I feel that I feel that this bike is really good good value um, let's go uh, for a ride and let's see how it's um, how it's uh, how it sounds and stuff like that when when you ride this bike As you can see, like the, the the sound is not bad. Is like you know, like if if I if I stop pedaling, you can see I'm I'm still able to the amount of power I'm receiving from the motor when I'm pedaling is really good. And uh, as I mentioned, you can also use only the uh, throttle to operate the bike so if, if i stop the uh, the pedaling like i will show you now see i'm not i will stop pedaling and i will press the throttle i'm not pedaling at all and i'm going uphill as well Yeah, very nice. One of the features also I want to mention about this bike is um, it has cruise control. Yes, believe me, it has cruise control. It's very comfortable and very quiet. I don't see like uh, it's um, some bikes are really very noisy, but this bike is uh, it's pretty quiet. And uh, and also the um, the brake works very well because it's uh, it's hydraulic brake, so it's really nice and um, and the stop power is really good uh, in in the hydraulic brake. Believe me, the uh, e-bike basically makes like um, riding bicycle uh, very, very uh, big fun to, to do. Uh, especially for people, they are not. Uh, see, I'm going uphill now. I make the power to three, so it gives me more power. So I don't really do too much, right? 
It's like somebody, you know, pushing me. <laughs> Once you have e-bike, you will realize that you you can go like far than you think, and also. Um, you will have too much fun. Like I tell you that, you know that I, I, I ride motorcycle as well. But for, for stuff like that around, you know, my house and, and nearby places, I, I enjoy the e-bike. Sometimes um, Sometimes I want to do that with my motorcycle, but I, I couldn't. I feel, I feel the e-bike is, uh, is friendly, is more friendly to do than motorcycle, especially if you are nearby in areas like this, right? Make too much sound and, and make noise, the people will hit you. <laughs> so. So let's let's try the uphill now. This is like let's see the uphill. So this is uh, this is one of the uphill. Let's see. See, I will make it three. And see, I'm not doing basically too much effort. See. Yeah, very easy. If I am riding now a regular bike, I will <laughs> I will not be able to talk because my breath will be like, you know, struggling with paddling and go uphill. And this is uphill as well. See, another uphill. I can talk. I can breathe normally. Nothing, nothing is really hard with the e-bike. See, I just give it another level. It's level three. And um, you will you will appreciate the the power you are getting when you when you're riding e-bike like this in this situation. Um, there's lots of uphill in uh, in the city I'm living in. That's why I uh, I had uh, like regular bicycle before. It didn't work for me. I just feel. Sometimes tired, going uphill, uphill all the time, and I feel like I'm I'm exhausted and cannot really enjoy. Yeah. Now I'm think uh, this is my review for the Rise Leisure e-bike today. Hopefully you enjoy it, and uh, I will. I will review another bike as well, we bought it and it's a smaller size but still good bike as well from Rice. See you guys, bye.